What's going on guys, I'm back with another review. So this is gonna be my review on the Adidas Adelet Boost Slides. Now if you guys follow me on Instagram, which if you don't, link in the description down below. Um, I posted about this uh, video a couple days ago. I don't remember exactly how long it's been. Um, so here that video is, and I'm really excited to do this. I've had a week, roughly, um, of use with these so far, and I'm really, really liking them. Now, that's obviously not where the video's gonna end, otherwise that'd be a really stupid upload. <laughs> but yeah. So to give you guys a bit of an insight as to how this video is going to go down and how I'm using these, first we're going to start off with the cons, and that's not because there's more of the cons than pros. Normally, and I would say 95% of the time, I will start off with cons simply because when it comes to my purchase decision, for me at least, even though it's not really pessimistic, I want to know about the things that I may not like. Such as, for instance, even though I may think these look really nice, um, the one particular colorway may, you know, be a weak point in the, you know, in, in, in the group of Adidas Boost slides. And, you know, it may be a matter of these get really, really dirty or something like that. It's just the white doesn't, or something like that. Um, so these are little things that will, over time, actually make or break somebody's purchase decision. And uh, then I'm going to start, you know, giving you guys the, con the pros, sorry. As well as at the end of this, give you guys my final thoughts, which I've I've definitely added more to that section than it is on my notes. I only have three points on my notes, but nonetheless, I'm going to definitely have a little bit more to say about this at the end of the video. So grab your snacks, grab some popcorn, let's get into this. And first things first, and this is in no particular order, by the way, the price. I paid these $85 Canadian, and that's through Amazon. If at the time of recording and uploading this, this is still available for the same $85 after shipping and taxes, um, down below in the description, you guys will find the link. The reason I'm saying, and keep in mind that it's just for this particular colorway, the all black pair, I think it was like 108. I, I probably should have went with that. Um, now that I think about it, I don't know. I, I might get those, you know, as a second pair. I really don't know. I doubt it. I don't know. Um, but I really do like the all black look, but I like the Oreo colorway. I have multiple shoes in the black and white colorway, and I just, I, I something about it. Maybe because I'm fat, you know, and Oreo cookies, I don't know. <laughs> but nonetheless, um, I paid these $85 Canadian with shipping and taxes, and they came to my door within about four days. Now, that being said, I was very happy with these. I'm going to talk about sizing in a second, because that's going to be the next point. Being is this is not my original purchase. This purchase is a size 13. I originally purchased a size 12. Um, I'll get into why I changed, which you guys can probably figure out just by the fact that I went up a size that they were too small, but we'll go into more detail about that in a second. Um, overall, when it comes to the price, I'm kind of 50-50 on this as to whether this is a really expensive price to pay for slides or not. And the reason and my logic behind this is because for one, I'm sure these have been in development for many years, and I say many years. Boost, I think, came out when? 2014 or 15? We're in 2020, so let's just say about two to three years. Uh, and for them to get this kind of slide going, I'm pretty impressed with them. I'm pretty happy. Um, there are a few things, like I mentioned, I'm going to run through in this cons list, um, other than the price that I'm not a huge fan of. But when I compare this to, let's say, a Boost shoe that's got... I would say argument, arguably just as much boost, maybe a little bit less, maybe a little bit, you know, whatever. Um, I would probably say that it's a pretty good deal. And even at the full retail price of, I think it's like 100 bucks Canadian, uh, I believe you guys in the States pay 65 um, US, obviously. And uh, I know this is a little bit pricey. Now, even for me, I'm more willing to spend more money on something that I know has good research got brought into it and it's you know quality product and it's not just another slide or another whatever you know another shoe that's just added and then they use boost to kind of get it out there to to increase the purchases now do i feel that they've done that no i actually think that being that this is the only boost slide that i'm aware of at least that adidas has ever released um a lot of people were waiting on this and the fact that this is such a low-key release and it's not just me saying this, a lot of other YouTubers are recording reviews on these are saying the same thing. Um, the Adidas really didn't go all hyped out when it, when it comes to releasing these, so I was pretty surprised about that. Now, next up has to be the sizing, like I mentioned. I initially went with a size 12, as normally speaking, and I'm pretty sure I mentioned this in my uh, sneaker collecting video last year. Um, 
I normally go with a 12. Biggest is 12 and a half. I want a little bit of extra wiggle room for my toes, uh, quite literally. Uh, but I had to go with a size 13 on these guys. And I'm pretty sure uh, that that's mainly just because this upper portion, this black part here, um, is not super duper stretchy in terms of on the sides. It holds its form really, really well, which is a given, I guess, if you like that. Um, that's great. But in my case, I have a pretty high instep, which is where this covers. Um, that being said, my foot had a really difficult time fitting comfortably into the size 12s. I could fit my feet into them, but especially right here on both sides, uh, this is a huge pressure point and it was very uncomfortable to the point where it was actually a little bit painful, just a little bit. Now, I'm not gonna say that if you, do, for instance, I'm only mentioning this because I know a lot of you guys are wondering size-wise, are these gonna fit in, like the regular uh, adults? I don't know, I've never actually owned the regular ones. Um, if anybody can confirm whether or not they do in the comments, I'll pin it. But nonetheless, um, sizing on these, you probably want to go up a size. I haven't found these to go up in half sizes, at least not in terms of like for sale. Um, so if you can find these in like a half size, um, maybe try that. And keep in mind, again, you are probably going to want to try these on. Uh, this is kind of like, one thing I'm just thinking off the top of my head. If you're going to get these as a gift... I would probably go up the next size unless the person has like really narrow feet. If you know the like, if you can fit into Converse and not have to go up a half size, um, I would probably say, yeah, you could probably fit into these normal size, no problem. Um, I've never been able to fit into Converse or Vans for that reason. I have a very wide foot, big foot guy, so yeah. Um, next up is the footbed itself does run a little bit narrow. Which kind of, you know, ties into the, the overall fit of the sandal, or sorry, the slide. Uh, what I mean by that is towards the, the heel, I found it actually does not hold my foot that well. Not that my foot flops out or that this goes flying around, but it does not cradle my foot the way I want to. Um, and I would not say for them to make this lower, because then again, this is a pretty dense portion of the boost. Um, this part here did take a bit of breaking in to kind of, you know, get to the soft boost that we all know and love although it's not going to be as soft and squishy as the ed uh end part here you guys see i'm compressing it it's really squishy um it is still something to consider again i would recommend like i mentioned a half to a full size bigger um and kind of talking about the footbed the, the boost that's used at first and i've kind of thought of what this is not necessarily as big of a deal as I made it when I first got these and I thought these were not uncomfortable but just not as comfortable as I wanted them to be. Definitely not as comfortable as I expected them. I would say if I had to give these an out of 10 rating when I first got them, comfort wise, I'd give these a 7. That has now gone up to about an 8.5 to a 9. Um, and again, it's just not on the same level as like Ultra Boost. Um, if I'm not mistaken, I've heard Seth Fowler mention about a release of a pair of Ultra Boosts that have like an Ultra Boost Plus, which is Ultra Boost, which is Boost, sorry, but it's a more dense version of it. If I had to imagine what that felt like, I would probably say it feels like what, it feels like what these feel like uh, fresh out the box. Not that these are uncomfortable, don't get me wrong. I've heard a couple people say these are straight up trash, they're uncomfortable, don't get them, they're just... Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I understand... Yeah, for the price, this is not something you want to hear, especially on something that's notorious, like Boost is notorious for being super comfortable, super squishy, very light. Um, yeah, these are definitely comfortable. Don't worry about that. It does take a bit of breaking in to get used to, though. Um, lastly is the outsole. This is something that I've kind of come to terms with and not really complain as much about now. The outsole tread design. As well as one thing that I kind of could say may contribute to the fact that the boost may not be as squishy is this outsole is one piece of rubber. You guys may be wondering, well, of course it is. Now, I mean these little rectangles uh, in between the little tread design things, those are not cuddles. Those are just, this is all one piece of rubber from the top to the bottom, heel to toe. So it does not allow the boost to expand um from the bottom which is something i think is very important and if you guys look at all boost shoes on the bottom they do have exposed boost 
to allow it to expand a little bit more to allow airflow to make it a little bit more squishy. So that's something to consider. Although again, I'm not saying these are uncomfortable. Next into the pros. Um, one thing that I've really got to say is again, if you like Boost, this is probably going to be a no-brainer uh, for most of you. It is something that a lot of us, if not all of us Boost fans have been waiting for. And realistically, yeah, I would say these are the way to go if you guys are looking for a new slide like myself. I was in the market for a new pair of slides and these fit my criteria. Now, the next thing is the fact that, again, I'm going to say this a zillion times, these are very comfortable. Out of 10, like I mentioned, these are going to get you an 8.5, maybe, if I'm really being generous, a 9. Now, I'm going to say, if you guys are using these to walk around the mall, I don't know if people would use these to walk around the mall when they open up. Um, at least here in my part of Canada, malls are closed. Um, stores are now starting to open up. Thank God. <laughs> But if you guys are going to use these to go walking, walking around stores, um, I don't really know. I'm not going to say these would be uncomfortable, but obviously don't expect these to have the same kind of support as a shoe. Just I want to clarify that. it's You're not going to get the same kind of support and cushioning as a shoe. And that's mainly because this black portion here is the only thing holding your foot down and in place. One other thing that I want to really say in relation to the footbed that I love is this felt or whatever material this black portion is on the footbed. I've heard one person say that that's ridiculous and they don't need that on there uh, and they would try to peel it off and this and that. I think this is crucial because when you feel start to sweat, I don't. I normally wear with socks, but the odd time, you know, like earlier I was stepping out uh, to go water my plants and I just didn't wear socks. You know, I was going to be out for like two seconds. I was living in front of my home. And um, these, this black portion on the footbed helps not only with grip, but it just helps when your feet start to sweat a little bit. Your feet don't go sliding and sloshing everywhere and it's all nasty. Um, next is how well these have held up. I do want to say the boost, I'm gonna I'm gonna assume the boost is gonna last. It's not gonna be yellow the way other boosts will, I don't think, uh, at least for me, because I'm not using these completely outdoors. These are mainly indoors and part well outdoors. But if you guys are going to be using these to go to, I don't know why you would, but maybe to go to the beach, um, I would probably stick towards a sandal rather than a slide is more, well, you slide your feet in and you, you know, you get going to where you got to go. Um, sandals, I think, are a little bit more designed to go on, I'm going to say off-road trains, but not to make it sound like it's like a hiking shoe or boot, but um, I don't really think that the outsole is really designed to use these a lot on the outdoors. Um, if you live in a really rough terrain environment, is what I'm trying to say. Like if you're walking and you live downtown, normally where the streets and sidewalks are pretty well paved and things like that, I wouldn't worry about these wearing down too much. Um, but again, I just gotta say, I like the way that this is designed overall. Um, getting into my final thoughts, there are a few things I would change about these. One is that I wish there was a version with both continental rubber outsoles um just I, I would like to see for the price i kind of feel like you know what i feel that they didn't do that because of you know i'm pretty sure they would have to pay continental you know quite a bit of money in order to get that kind of stuff made and for a slide it's probably not worth it but it's nice that you know it would have been nice to see that regardless especially for the price even if there was a premium version of these with both that outsole as well as an adjustable i'm gonna call this a top piece i don't know exactly what this is called um this to be velcro adjustable because of the fact like i mentioned these are perfect in size my feet do not hang over the top or over the heel at all um i'm not gonna be doing any on foot because i just don't feel comfortable doing that if you guys want to see pictures of these instagram will be linked in the description to the post specifically on these um I personally think that, yeah, they, they should have definitely made a version of these with an adjustable um, upper. I, mean, I guess upper is probably the right way to wear these. And um, next up is the fact that I would like to see more colorways. I think at the time of recording this, they have an all black. They have this, which I'm going to call it the Oreo colorway or the hybrid because the next one is all white. Um, there are two variations of the all white apparently. There's ones with this kind of footbed liner and there's another one with a white footbed liner. I don't know if that's 
something that changes based off of where you're getting them or what but uh i thought i might point that out some places most places may not have one like this it may be the one with the white footbed and like you know in terms of like the all white all the way um i would see these in a lot more different colors i'm sure that'll come you know soon enough it's been almost a year though so maybe around christmas i don't know um uh, maybe not christmas i don't know now that i think about it, that's probably something stupid not many people are going to go and buy sandals and slides during the winter but i don't know maybe you will um next is additional width I, I i know usually for sandals and slides this is very uncommon at least i think it is i'm not a slide or sandal connoisseur by any means so i don't really know um i would like to see this especially because this is for unisex this is not catered towards men or women this is for both i would have loved to see this in a w and d or a w and e width um especially considering the fact that there's no version with this uh being adjustable um next up i would have liked to see some kind of i don't really know addition in the heel because for those of you guys i don't know how many of you guys but for those of you guys who like to just like myself the slide i guess this is kind of now that i think about it it's probably going to bring it into more of like a sandal category um having something like you know something like this but in the heel to kind of really hold your foot into place not that this doesn't do suffice enough it actually does really really good at holding my feet my feet in or on the sandal i should say rather than in um it's, it's an overall good product and there's that now i'm not sure in terms of you know, cleaning these, you know, let's see if these get dirty. If you don't wear these with socks, I don't want to know, you know, that these are going to stink up. Over time, I'm sure that will happen. You know, bacteria builds up. I don't know if using soap, whether it be a laundry detergent or a dish detergent or something of that nature, um, if that would discolor this. And keep in mind really quickly, if those of you guys are wondering, I probably should have mentioned this, this is like a plastic. This is not like... Uh, like one of those the he's kind of logo things this is a plastic which is really nice to see and you don't feel it on your foot i want to point that out as well um to wrap this video up though out of 10 um i would definitely purchase wise if this is if you guys are a fan of boost definitely absolutely hands down 10 of 10 check these out that doesn't mean you have to buy them but definitely check them out because this is something you probably want um if you guys are looking for a new pair of slides to be completely honest, it was actually mixed between these and the Air Max 90 slides. I was really looking at getting those. And then I thought, you know what? I wonder if Adidas ever made a slide from Boost. And then I looked these up and I was like, oh, boom, there they are. So I got these. They happened to be cheaper and I was actually able to get them in my size. So I ended up opting for these. Um, I might go and pick up the 90s slides just because I do still want them. Um, I've never owned a pair of Air Max 90s or 95s or 97s surprisingly um so i don't think it's gonna do me much homage by getting them but it's still a nice slide um anyways guys let me know what you guys think about this video as well as if you guys own these what color do you guys have let me know what you think about these bad boys down below and also um any future reviews you guys want me to do until next time guys sneaker left toronto i'm out